I'm KK Downing, formerly of Judas Priest, and I'm here today with Metal Matt, Instagram and YouTube, who actually, his name's Metal Matt because the legendary Rob Halford gave him that very name. <laughs> Um, it used to be Matt Gothic, Matt Gothic yeah. who is the same person, but it's all about Metal Matt now and his YouTube and Instagram channel. So check it out. Stay tuned. And the best thing I can say to a guy like Metal Matt is, whatever you do, don't rust. Hello, Metal Matt here, here with an absolute guitar legend today. It's the Shredding Master. It's my personal all-time favourite guitarist. Absolute legend, KK Downing. Matt. Nice to meet you, KK. You too, mate. Thank you for coming up to Wolverhampton no and, uh, and welcome to the Steel Mill. Excellent. Right, so we're here to talk about your new book, Heavy Duty Days and Nights in Judas Priest. Um, so Ken, um, personally I find it really hard whenever anyone asks me my favourite Judas Priest album or song is so difficult because one of the things with Priest which I love is they're not repetitive each album I feel you're trying to bring something different and experiment and it never gets kind of stagnant um, but if there was if someone was real new to Priest you know some teenager who's just getting into metal and they they, they want an album that is going to get them into Priest what album do you think kind of epitomizes what uh, Judas Priest is about? Yeah, I get asked this quite a lot and it's so difficult. It, it is really difficult, but I think if I can just elaborate a little bit really on that, I think I've got to go with British Steel. Really? Yeah. yeah. You know, I've got to do that because I think that that was the album for Judas Priest that consolidated everything, right. you know, um, because it was the first album that, you know, um, that Judas Priest was completely, had the leather, studs look, you know, everything on that album was quite complete for Priest. Sunny day today uh, on the search for some uh, dragonflies. One of the things all nature photographers will tell you, it is often a waiting game. Uh, it's often a case of setting up the camera and just waiting for the shot. So I'm very happy to have got the shot I was after. Um, it's really cool to see them flying uh, and uh, landing or uh, even just uh, spot them. Uh, so yeah. Um, the poles that I left in the water, they are great to uh, encourage them to land on in the uh, spot you want them to. They didn't seem to take to them, they were much more uh, up for landing on the reeds, but it's certainly worth uh, doing it yourself and getting them used to the, the poles you have in place and after a few days you will see them landing on them and uh, you will see results, so good luck everyone. Dragonflies can fly straight up and down, side to side, much like a helicopter. They're very nifty and precise. Damselfly and dragonfly are very agile in the air, and this is how they escape their many predators, which include fish, birds, frogs, lizards, and small mammals. 
So they certainly have a challenge to stay alive. When mating, the males have claspers on their abdomens to hold onto the females behind their heads. While the females curl their bodies forward, creating a wheel shape, and this allows the reproductive organs to touch. After mating, some species fly in a tandem, with the female bearing the weight of the male while she lays her eggs. Dragonflies were actually one of the first winged insects to evolve some 300 million years ago, which is pretty crazy. Dragonflies actually have a wingspan of about two to five inches, but um, there have been fossils found with like huge, <laughs> huge wingspans. So it's crazy to think that these are just scaled down versions of what used to be, you know. Right, we're in Bristol and we're looking for lizards. So, um, yeah, follow me and we're going to see if we can spot any bass in. We're looking for like common or otherwise known as like viviparous lizards. Places like this, you often get them. Um, and you often find them on these kind of wooden panels. And they like somewhere they can kind of get up high. I found a um, common lizard here. This one's melanistic. This is pretty much black. Common around Europe. Yes, yeah, so these lizards actually kind of bear live young. They're, they're a bit different to some other lizards. I find when I'm kind of filming or, or kind of taking photos of lizards, I've got to be very kind of careful not to scoop them. I try and look for them when they might put their head up or something like that and kind of makes a unique shot. So near the town, yet you will find reptiles. You know, over there is all the city and stuff, and you've got a tiny bit of space like this left wild, and it, it just shows how much we need these wild spaces because it's, it's utilised so much. I've seen foxes here. I've seen, you know, endless reptiles. They seem to be thriving, but if spaces like this are took away, you know, that could be the end of them. So, save our wild spaces. Shadow bands and lots of spam. Am I trendy enough for Japan? Pressures of society. The final is to perish and suffer. For man's narcissistic ways.
Red Sox. Drinking some American coffee. Can't leave home without it. I want to tell you about something I discovered while on the road in my bunk. It's called Metal Map on YouTube. You gotta check it out. If you like heavy metal, why not? Have a check. Steel Panther approves it, then you gotta do cocaine and watch it. <laughs> Cheers, Brack. Thanks. Tides change, I remain the same. Lost in these changes, changes in you. What am I to do? Took my time, tried my best. Everybody hates me. So burn the rest. Live your life without me. Turn your back on the past. Right now with Metal Matt and Dom Jolly. Why are we here today? Well, I'm here, you know, I'm with, like you say, the comedy legend Dom Jolly. You know, I'm doing a music video. He was a goth in his youth. I thought he'd be perfect for this kind of, uh, you know, this song we're doing. Um, it's it's kind of a song about changes, and Dom's kind you of. You got the money? Huh? You got the money? The money. We're just doing an interview. Okay. I mean, I can give it now. But do you want to do the interview? No, do the interview. Yeah. Um, uh, well. Um, yeah, sorry. I, so the song's just about changes, and Dom's playing like an older version of me, kind of thing, you know. Not that old, Dom. Well, no, but we're getting on a bit. But um, um, Dom, um, could I ask you what made you decide to do this project? With the money, which have you got the money? Oh yeah, you want to know? Well, yeah, just to say to you. Mm. Yeah, I mean the money, really. Anyway, guys, that and was great. Any Thank you so other much. reasons? What? That was good. I enjoyed that, and good luck with the. Uh, the whole filming stuff. <laughs> what a nice guy. What a nice guy. Um, I think that was here, yeah? Yeah. Alright. Recording? recording? Start. So I'm here today with Metal Matt and Dom Jolly. Why are we here today? Well, I'm here, you know, as you say, comedy legend Dom Jolly, you know, he's someone I've always admired and, you know, he was a goth in his youth, I thought, you know, because this song's quite a goth kind of feeling track of mine, I thought... You got the money? Yeah, yeah, I'll, I'll give it to you in a sec. Okay, that's fine. Yeah, but yeah, no, so he's just, uh, you know, someone I admired and, uh, you know, he, he was a goth, so I thought, perfect, who better, you know, to be in this in this very gothy song, you know? So yeah, that's it, really. Um, Dom, could we ask you why, what made you decide to do this project? What do you mean? Why did you decide to um, collaborate with Metal Matt? Oh, with well, the money. Have you got the money, actually? Yeah. Oh, really? <laughs> yeah, just, just give me the cash. I got it. Uh, money. I mean, it's great. You know. So. Any, any other reasons? Huh? Any other reasons? None that I can think of at the moment. But um, 
I'll tell you what, text me and uh, yeah, we'll have a think. Anyway, good luck with it. See ya. <laughs> this is genius. He doesn't come back home. <laughs> <laughs> oh no. I'm all out of hope. One bad break could bring a phone. experiences and thoughts and feelings and things like that. I like my music to be kind of real, so um, generally that's how I work with that. And Six Key Six says, how old were you when you first realised you had such a talent for singing? Um, I didn't really ever think I had a talent as such, but I started exploring my voice and stuff probably around, I don't know, around the time when I got into Judas Priest, you know, I, that's when I started sort of trying to, because the uh, their music had helped me so much, I wanted to kind of help people with my music and I thought that's kind of what I want to do, I, you know, I realised that it's, it's a really kind of cool uh, thing to do, write songs and kind of, it's nice with all the things, you know, Priest has helped me through hard times and kind of made me feel happy and different things and I kind of wanted to um, kind of do that for different people, you know, and help people with my music and make them feel good and all the get all your emotions going. I think music's a powerful kind of tool, you know, so yeah, that's what I kind of pursue. That's my main thing, really. Spend most of my time doing that, you know. So, yeah. uh, Lagrima363 and Witch Capri both ask, do you have any insecurities? Um, insecurities? Yeah, I mean, I did growing up and stuff, I had a lot of kind of different thing. I mean, I always felt kind of self-conscious and things like that, you know, it's natural, I think, so. But um, I'd say the best way of sort of getting over that is uh, I kind of just made myself, uh, I just kind of realised that uh, just be happy in your own self, you don't need anyone else's approval. And the sooner you do that, the happier you are, really, and be happy in your own skin, you know, so. Um, but yeah, and, uh, I still do get um, self-conscious of different things, but yeah, you can certainly deal with it and get better over time, I think. Yeah. Lots of people are listening to it and stuff, so yeah. And it's all independent, so kind of, I like doing it off my own back and having sort of creative control and not having anyone else telling me how to do my music, so that's how I go about making my songs and stuff, so it's all real, it's all kind of from my mind and stuff, so. Yeah. Reality is feeling rather different. I don't know if this world is real. I don't know what I feel because nothing is real. The people with the power dragging out. Into the layer. Technology is taking over, and it's still pumping you with fear. Simulation, disintegration, confusing the nation with their negative vibrations. Cybernetic confirmation. Brain dead generation Born into a reality With the illusion of being free
I'm Metal Matt, and I'm from Bristol, which isn't anything to be proud of. <laughs> no, Bristol rocks. My genre of music is gothic, and kind of metal. It's kind of a mix of gothic metal, but acoustic. I'm trying to be a bit different and do something unique, so I generally just do acoustic, and it's, my songs kind of have a moody, kind of gothic, lyrical edge. I don't particularly do busking all the time. It's more of a practice thing, and prefer sort of on stage to perform in um, on, the, on the streets and stuff, but it is good for practice. Um.
some woods, wearing some eyeliner, helping out on a video for my friend and long-time collaborator. He's helped me out in a couple of trigger-happy things, Metal Matt. And the video will be up soon. So we're using all of Cheltenham's finest locations for this, what I hope to be the ultimate goth video. Here's Cam, on Cam, and here's Metal Matt, who is metal. Okay, metal. how are you enjoying the day? Yeah, really good. How are you enjoying the day, Cam? Yeah, okay, we're a bit too happy for goth, but we yeah. did just find a grave in the woods, yeah. which is always good. <laughs> I'm not implying that these woods are for swingers, but, uh, well... <laughs> Thank you. Rather proud of that joke. Oh! Our video shoot is over. Metal Man Cam and now tucking into Cheltenham's finest at Ginger and Garlic. Well, I hope it is anyway. Yeah. You were darn very jealous of my duck. Um, I am a bit jealous of my duck, actually. <laughs> <laughs> my book looks amazing. Should be, yeah. No one wants Cam's. No, no. I don't want that. It's a KFC, basically. Yeah, that's all it is. Yeah. It's chicken. Yeah. Good fun. Alright, so I just met this man in the woods here, I'm and I just to, wanted to... I'm trying to eat my food out. Well, I just wanted to... Well, I've never met anyone. Like, I just wanted to show to the people on my channel um, what, what you do here. right on lunchtime, you know. I, I got this a nice is maggot. what he's eating. I usually like it to looks eat. good. Do you have to? F I just want I to just eat, eat in peace. To be fair, you know? well, I, I, you can do that in a minute. I just want to show you to the people. You, you know, just, just do you want to show us? Do you want to show us the house? Yeah, would love to see the so, house. I am a caveman. Uh, you know, there's yeah, a lot of us about. I don't know what's so rare about caveman. What's that? What's that? Uh, that's just my apple collection. I've got a little collection here if you want to see it, actually. This is another um, apple collection. Dandelion leaves. Look at that, guys. Some little apples. Man there. collecting apples. This is really yeah. getting down to nature. Collecting apples, dandelion. This is this is what it's all about, really. It's just good to have a hobby, you know. Yeah. That's all, really. Yeah. But uh, more, oh, more. Oh. Sorry, guy. A bit wriggly down. Yeah, I just. Is this what you eat every day? Yeah. You catch them with your own hands. Well, yeah, you just go through. There's usually quite a few maggots it's like, in the, you know, organic hand-picked in the you know, apples, just, you know. Yeah, so. this, is, this is nature, guys. This is hand-picked organic maggots. This apple collection. Yeah, so it's really good um, to be fair. You know, I got a organic life. Got some sting in there. I thought I kind of put like uh, some kind of nettles and things around. It's a planned like, gardening. Yeah, I kind of planted a few. Free-range plants. It's beautiful. It's really. It's, yeah, ivy. You know, that's just it's Christmas thing. You know. Yeah, that's uh, uh actually get is it is alright to touch it? Is it yeah, gonna yeah, it's is fine. It... Absolutely fine. Yeah, I don't it's... break it or nothing, because it's, it's I'm trying to kinda of keep everything the way it very, looks. Yeah, it's, 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 it's very it. clean here, you've got um very neat I want it neat and you know very tiny, neat space. But, uh, it's the way, I mean it's got everything, isn't it? Brilliant, Wouldn't absolutely brilliant, yes. Everything apples apples need, in the corner, I mean, there's um little seat there, that, you know. I seat, sit there yeah. I sit there on a night. And I kind of just like bang against the wall, yeah. makes a yeah. There's some but you can get like DIY a DIY music, yeah, yeah very stick. cool. Like this, and yeah, don't like filming here because I can't really see much. It's really bad for the camera, but yeah, it's very, uh, well, very you can, cool. You can hear the um, sound. It's the way to go, you know. Got these nice little plants on top. Yeah, of it seems the, brilliant. Some um, top of the cave. Do you yeah. get um? Do you get spiders in the um, cave? Spider. Yeah, yeah, I just sometimes, you know, see, yeah. only snacks, aren't they? They're yeah, not, uh, I'd assume you'd eat them, yeah, I mean, I what else would you do with them? Free no, range spiders, so. guys, that's amazing, you know. I, I mean? always consider it lucky if kind of a spider crawls across my face, you know. It's supposed to be like good mm, luck, or It just comes to you, I guess, it's some of the, the energy yeah. coming to you, you know, that's So really yeah, that's me anyway, amazing, but yeah. I'm just going to relax now, you know, sit back, you know, put the box on. i got like a kind of stone box I'm like banging yeah, on it on you're just, yeah banging on your box yeah, it's yeah just banging so. on the box guys that's yeah. what life is about you know just bang on the box in your cave that's yeah, yeah. So, beautiful uh, absolutely I appreciate brilliant. you leaving there the banging though the, the thing the banging the people really want to see the mm. banging well we'll see you know it's banging on a, your box that's I like to do that alone to be fair so such a brilliant idea though I anyway think. bye yeah I'll be I'll come back I'll come visit you I'll bring you the box we can bang a box together Wow, incredible.
do you think you in front, or just kind of by the side, you got to follow me now, right, so... to do or take part in a video with a long-term fan of mine, Metal Matt, and it's done, and the results are in, and it's almost unanimously been declared as an instant classic. Um, but hey, who am I to decide? Um, you decide. You watch it. Swipe up for the link, and remember to watch all the way through after the credits. <laughs>
came 